Okay, uh, I want to make sure that you are on the same page. First, I emphasize the importance of consumer awareness as a very important or integral element, integral part of supply chain management. And also, I talked about how we can, you know, show or give you some example of uh, the case that highlights the importance of consumer awareness. And the best way for us to learn some lessons for consumer awareness is through our own history. So, you know, learning through our own experience, even if that's the bitterest way to learn something according to Confucius. So that's the background. And let's look at some cases. The first case is about a German company, Volkswagen. And uh, I think that uh, most of you already know what the scandal is about. A Volkswagen turned out to be that uh, the company has uh, deceived the U.S. government or you know the governments around the world. The governments in the market, uh, the company was uh, has been selling its cars regarding this uh, pollution or CO2 emission, and uh, they they manipulated some of the software or whatever. I don't know. I don't know the technical details. What is, uh, what is important uh, is that the Volkswagen did uh, something wrong on ethical things related with uh, pollution or CO2 emission. You know, I used to, I actually, I still, I still, in a sense, I do, but uh, I used to, you know, respect the German companies very highly. Because uh, German companies are well known for its, uh, you know, excellence and accuracy in engineering. In a sense, I have always believed that the German company is a good moral benchmark for the companies. So I respected, I have respected the German companies, and I have respected German economy as a whole. But uh, because of this Volkswagen scandal, what actually, you know, my belief was shaken. What actually it was uh, almost, uh, you know, I would just say shaken a lot. But what I want to talk about today is not uh, something about my belief in the German engineering or my respect for the German companies, but I want to just to talk about what happened afterwards. What happened, uh, you know, folk, the fact that Volkswagen uh, deceived uh, all these consumers around the world uh, when the fact was diverged, what happened afterwards? That's the point I want to I wanna discuss today. So let's say the worldwide sales down. That was uh, expected. That was normal, right? Uh, if you look at all these uh, press, newspapers, you can see that the Volkswagen's worldwide sales fall, and especially in the U.S. and uh, you know maybe in Europe. So I think that that's what happened. And then what was the response? What was the company response to this crisis? Crisis in the U.S. and crisis in, in the market around the world. What happened? Volkswagen was very quick in trying to remedy all these damages the company has done to the consumers around the world. For example, Volkswagen actually offered $1,000 as a gift card, as a goodwill package to U.S. owners. Wow, it's very impressive, right? It was very quick. It's not, it does not include the, you know, cost to fix some of those cars uh, affected by the deception. 
affected by this scandal. It's just a good deal package. Volkswagen paid or offers, at least offers, I don't know whether actually they paid or not, but the newspaper says that the company offered $1,000. That's what happened in the U.S. That's what happened in the U.S. And let me tell you what happened in Korea. What happened in Korea? What about the Volkswagen's response in Korea? Well, it's very interesting. I mean, the, the, the Korean government was mad at the behavior, you know, shown by Volkswagen because the company showed uh, really, little respect, little respect to the Korean consumers, little respect to the Korean government, actually. When the Korean government asks the company to prepare its recall plan and uh, explain what happened, you know, the company just uh, gave a really insincere report, an incomplete report. And I, I heard that uh, they just uh, wrote one sentence <laughs> explaining what happened. So the Korean government was uh, extremely mad at this uh, insincerity and uh, somehow irresponsible behavior of a Volkswagen. So that is, uh, you know, newspaper article, which I want to say why the Volkswagen's behavior was completely different. Volkswagen was very, you know, very humbled when the company dealt with the consumers in the U.S., whereas uh, the company did not show enough respect to the Korean government and Korean consumers. Why? Because, I would say, in the U.S., the Volkswagen sales went down significantly, but it was very interesting to see that the Volkswagen sales up a lot in Korea. Of course, the company offered a lot of discounts and so on and so forth. But the thing is that um, the Korean consumers didn't care about the environment, they did not pay much attention to the social issues. They they just were all concerned, concerned with their own bargain hunting. I mean, that, uh, that's the kind of behavior shown by the Korean consumers. So what's the signal? What, what, what did that kind of Korean consumers' behavior signal to the company, Volkswagen? Korean consumers completely ignore, completely ignorant, and even, I would just say, they were selfish. What was their mentality? What was their attitude? I don't care about the environment as long as I can get a bargain. This is clear evidence that consumers did not have any awareness. Consumers were not aware of, consumers were not sensitive enough to the issues, bigger issues, socially more important issues. So they were probably so much, you know, dead old in terms of a personal gains. I mean, that uh, under these kind of circumstances, can a company behave ethically? No. I mean, that. Uh, you know, even if I'm a manager at Volkswagen, when I look at the Korean consumers, they actually buy our cars more, more than before our scandal was diverged. Then why should I apologize? Why should I pay some good deal package to the Korean consumers? They are buying my products more. On the other hand, in the U.S., the company was penalized by the consumers. The U.S. consumers and European consumers were very strongly aware of the situation, very strongly sensitive to the issues, and uh, they were willing to take a big action. They actually took an action. The sales in the, in the U.S. for the Volkswagen went down significantly, and that made a big difference. The consumer's awareness actually makes the company behave. And that's the whole point. That's the whole point.